Hello Libra, how are you? Welcome to my channel Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Libra, this is your reading for the month of July and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. Libra, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the video. There is an extended reading for this one. The link for the same is in description box and comment section. In the extended, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is the likely conclusion between you and this person. Coming back to this reading on YouTube, I'll shuffle the cards, I'll lay them down and then we'll see what is your energy, what is the energy of the person you're thinking about, you're dealing with, you will be dealing with. Uh, before I proceed, Libra, uh, I would just like to inform you that if you are interested in getting a personal reading done from you, me, the details of the same are in description box and comment section, okay? All right, now coming back to this reading on YouTube, I'll shuffle the cards and then we'll see what is your energy, what is the energy of the person you're thinking about, you're dealing with, you will be dealing with. Libra, what is your energy for the month of July? What you need to know for the month of July? What is your energy for the month of July? What you need to know for the month of July? Libra, what is your energy for the month of July? What you need to know for the month of July? What is your energy for the month of July, Libra? What do you need to know for the month of July? What is your energy for the month of July? What do you need to know for the month of July? All right, we have Ace of Cups, then we have Queen of Pentacles, we have uh, Five of Cups, and then we have the Moon. Okay, as far as your person is concerned, three of swords, then we have uh, four of cups, and we have queen of wands, Libra. You might be dealing with a cancer, you might be dealing with a Virgo, you might be dealing with a Scorpio, you might be dealing with a Gemini, you might be dealing with Leo. If the sign pops up, all the better. Let's not remain fixed on the signs. You might be seeing a lot of 555 Libra, a lot of 777, uh, 717. You might be seeing triple one, one one one, or even 1111. Okay. So Libra, what is your energy for the month of July? Ace of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, and we have Five of Cups, and then we have the Moon. So I've adjusted the camera angle. All right. So what you need to know for the month of July, Ace of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, then we have Five of Cups and the Moon, Libra. Hmm. Libra, either you have someone specific in your mind, you want that person to come towards you, you want that person to make an offer of love to you, or you have someone specific and that's why the the other offers of love that are coming towards you you're rejecting that or you are simply not liking the offers that are coming towards you and you're rejecting those offers okay but i see i see one theme is common over here that you're going to reject the offers or you will show disinterest in those offers. So either you are interested in someone specific or you are not going to like the offers that are going to come towards you. And that's why I see you rejecting offers. Offers of offers related to love and romance. I also see Libra that you're almost near to a specific goal that you have in your mind okay 
maybe the, it's a financial goal you are trying to achieve a certain monetary status and you're almost there and that is also one of the reasons why you probably are not giving as much attention as you would like to give towards love and romance right now but you're like let me reach there where i want to reach i'm not far away from there and once i reach that goal once i achieve that threshold monetary monetary goal or whatever it is okay then i will start wholeheartedly looking at love offers that are coming towards me just one thing i would like to tell you libra over here with ace of cups what i see is a very very beautiful love offer is coming your way and it is beautiful because it is this offer is coming towards you because universe wants this because universe wants you to take up this offer universe is sending this person towards you okay so when such a beautiful offer is coming towards you pay attention to that don't be like i'm going to focus on only one specific thing and i'm not going to look at other things that are coming towards me or i'm not going to look at other opportunities that are coming towards me okay you have to be open to all libra that's what i'm getting over here if you are focusing on your career and money doesn't mean that you should not think about good things that are coming towards you and whatever is coming towards you is really good is excellent rather this is probably one of the best offer that is coming towards you this is one of the best persons that is coming towards you romantic one of the best romantic partners this offer is filled with love this will give you everything and fulfill all of your expectations in love and romance this is a perfect offer for you now it is up to you what is it that you want the cards are advising that whatever goal you have it's you are going to achieve that goal okay having said so you can also remain open to the other opportunities and other important things that are coming towards you don't be like i'm going to think and dedicate myself my 100% to this one specific goal only and i'm not going to take a look at whatever else is coming towards me five of cups is telling me that if you do that if you if you become hyperly focused of only focused on only one specific thing five of cups is telling me you might lose this beautiful offer which you don't want to lose okay this is a very fulfilling offer a divinely orchestrated situation and you never know this person might turn out to be very lucky for you you might absorb this person's luck in your life and the monetary goals that you have you might reach those monetary goals at a at a 100x speed you never know that okay so remain open to all the possibilities the underlying message over here libra is that remain open you can multitask you are capable of doing that you are a very talented soul you can multitask you can focus on your career your money at the same time you can also focus on love at the same time you can also focus on your health you can do everything together no one has said that we should do only one thing at a time and if you are focusing on one thing you should ignore every other thing no one has said that so far 
in fact i say libra with the queen of pentacles i'm getting that you are one of the best managers okay you're very good at management you're very good at getting things done you are very good at uh, managing your time and your energy in a very productive manner so having multiple goals is definitely not going to harm you and focusing on multiple things is certainly multiple important things not multiple futile things multiple important things will definitely cause no harm it will it will only help you attract abundance in the month of july libra you might as well miss someone who has passed away in the recent past or in last 2 to 3 years someone passed away probably uh, probably someone within the family or or a friend okay someone who was very close to you you are going to see that person in the dreams in the month of july and you might go into nostalgia you might feel nostalgic you might even cry thinking about that person and this is needed for you to vent out the residue pending emotions that are stored inside you this is one healing mechanism and this is you know what that that person is appearing in your dreams for a reason they want you to they want you to offload some something that is stored inside you there is a certain level of heaviness that is stored inside you and whoever this ancestor is someone who has passed away they care for you they love you they want you to remove all the hurdles and obstacles from your life so that your path become clear your path becomes clear which will take you towards your destiny whoever this ancestor is they care they care for you a lot moon is telling me libra that for some of you there might be certain realizations related to related to the fact that you trusted wrong people okay maybe you groomed certain people maybe you uplifted certain people in your life maybe you uh, you were you you handholded you mentored some people in your life you were of some kind of a help to uh, those people financially otherwise or as a mentor you were always there for them but those very same people probably are now standing against you or they are not ready to help you now when you need something they are not there for you and that realization is going to hit hard that is going to be like but it's a blessing in disguise libra whatever this is it's a blessing in disguise <sighs> because i see that you might feel slightly sad or disappointed but you are also taking some quick actions of distancing yourself from these people you are no more the same version okay you are a different person you are a grown up uh, version of yourself you are steadily getting closer to your higher self okay and that's why even though you might feel slightly sad or bad or feel disappointed but i certainly see that
you will get over this situation real fast and you will also take some quick actions towards this situation okay life is changing for you libra okay and be ready for that life is taking you in a much more positive direction for some of you i see that you're going to be with new people new people are entering in your life you're making new friends there is a certain level of novelty in your life maybe for some of you you are also thinking about changing the work changing the career let's talk more about your love life we have 3 of swords 4 of cups and queen of wands i clearly see that you have gotten over someone from the past a past person and thoughts about them no more bother you okay i had to pause on between there was someone on the doorbell okay let's continue there was someone on the door <laughs> uh <clears throat> someone is heartbroken over here i'm just trying to understand for many of you this this is coming across as someone from the past but i'm trying to understand the energy this can also be someone who has strong feelings for you libra but they never had the courage to come towards you for some of you this can be your close friend okay Three of Swords, Four of Cups, and Queen of Wands. This can be a close friend of yours, or probably who was a very good friend of yours for a couple of years, or or a childhood friend. This person has some strong feelings for you, but they never came towards you. This person is going through your social media. They are trying to collect updates about you through social media. This person has kind of underestimated themselves, okay? As far as someone from the past is concerned, if this is anyone uh, if this is an ex, I mean yeah, they are thinking about you. They are feeling sad. Even if they try to come back towards you, I don't see you are interested in anyone from the past, Libra. But I am certainly getting an energy of someone who f- who has failed to come towards you but this person has some strong emotions for you strong feelings for you and i kind of feel for some of you this is your friend this is someone that you know This person however thinks that you are too good for them or you deserve someone better maybe you are doing good financially as far as career is concerned you are in a better place as compared to them okay this is a different energy i'm getting this ace of cups is a different energy this is an incoming energy this is someone from the past this is a new incoming energy with the ace of cups it's a new person this is a person uh, that divine has decided to send towards you you have multiple people interested in you libra for some of you i'm hearing it's a boss who is interested in you but you know what you are actually protected from all the wrong people you the person that you are not meant to be with i don't see they will succeed in any in any case okay
you're meant to be with someone specific and you're going to have a long-term situation with this specific person i'm trying to understand how far they are from you right now it is going to differ from person to person for some of you i'm hearing within one month you're going to meet them for others of you i'm hearing it can be a week as well for some of you for very few of you it can be within one year you're going to meet this person but for majority of you i kind of feel like you might meet this person the 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 new person in next one month let's talk about this energy i'm just trying to wonder will they ever come towards you let's pull out some additional cards okay will this person from three of swords and four of cups will they ever come towards you will they show the courage to come towards you nine of wands hmm yes they will come towards you they will come towards you nine of wands is also someone who might become pretty much determined later on okay so i see some confession might come from this person a friend who is in love with you or a person who you know is in love with you uh this is someone from the past i told you right a confession might come towards you okay this person is at a distance from you right now okay 10 of cups is telling me that you're going to get married okay so see that's for some of you it's a new story okay so for some of you libra what i feel is that you're going to be with this new person sent by the divine okay for others of you i kind of feel like this person from the past okay they they were they they did not show courage to come towards you but this person will eventually come towards you you will have a relationship with this person for some of you i also see that uh you'll have a long term situation with this person but somehow you will feel it from within that maybe this is not a destined person things will stop working between you and this person three of swords is telling me that if anything is meant to happen with this person from the past okay it is meant to break down because that's a part of karma this person is karmically associated with you in this lifetime okay this this person from from the past who did not show courage to come towards you okay even if they come towards you with some communication even if a certain situation happens between you and them okay that is eventually meant to break down because this is a karmic person and and with the queen of wands i'm getting that whatever karma you were required to pay off in this lifetime you are done with that you have paid off that karma and that's why divine is interfering and that's why divine is telling like no wait i'm sending the right one for you you don't have to go uh, through any kind of karmic situation to to uh or this whatever i'm sending towards you is not tainted with bad karma but this person a situation with this person is certainly tainted with bad karma okay and why do you want to get into an additional karmic situation when you have paid off all the karma in this lifetime now you are meant to enjoy this now you are meant to enjoy a divinely orchestrated situation now you are meant to enjoy a stable long term situation three of swords is telling me only because of this three of swords rest everything is good but with the three of swords i'm getting that this might be a very strong karmic partner for you this person from the past who did not come towards you and they did not show courage at the right time but but the queen of wands is also telling me the queen of wands is looking in this direction if you see the cards properly okay see the queen of wands is looking in this direction 
she is not looking this way she is not looking towards the four of cups and three of swords she is looking in the opposite direction she so she is looking somewhere else what i'm getting from this is even if this person for many of you libra even if this past person who did not come towards you and if even if they decide to come towards you now i don't see you're going to accept that because your soul will be guiding you your soul will be telling you to wait for this person divinely orchestrated situation and also the the cat in the queen of wands is telling me that you are actually protected okay you're protected from any kind of negativity so for many of you i kind of feel that these wrong people if, even if they come back towards you i don't see you're going to entertain them a queen of wands she is a queen so your energy is represented as a queen okay we have two queens over here this is someone who has reached a certain position after going through something so they are coming with a with with some sort of experience and they are awakened souls the energy the energy of the queen is an energy of an awakened soul i don't see you entertain anyone like you will understand that something is not right with the situation i i better not entertain this person and you will patiently wait for this new incoming person okay all right i hope this resonates and hit like share and subscribe and comment down below the link for the extended is in the description box and comment section in the extended we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you what action they will take towards you what is the likely conclusion between you and this person all right so the the details of the private reading are in description box and comment section uh all right take care and bye bye and have a great time